Harry's Wife, Part 95.4, YouTube War. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. In Part 1, I have explained to you what is behind the divisiveness of the narcissist, and of course, this is particularly applicable to Harry's wife, who elicits strong opinions both for and against her. This has resulted in much commentary arising on Facebook, on blogs, on Twitter, and also YouTube. And an article written by Chris Stokel Walker looks at this issue and runs with the headline, Royal Rumblers Inside the World of Auntie Harry's Wife's YouTube. The controversial community is blaming Christopher Boozy, founder of an anti-hate site, for getting two prominent YouTubers banned. Let us look at this article and see what does it tell us about the divisiveness that I've referred to and also the dynamics of the personalities involved vis-a-vis -vis the way that they deal with Harry's wife and one another. When Harry's wife married into the British royal family in 2018, she represented a sea change in the staid Lily White institution. Not only was she an American television actress, she was divorced and mixed race. In the beginning, the union of Harry's wife and Prince Harry was touted as a fairy tale combination of Hollywood glamour and British aristocracy. When Harry and Harry's wife got married, I was so overexcited. It was ridiculous, says Sue Smith, 56, a recently retired nurse and royal YouTuber based in South Carolina. Smith, who asked Input to use her online pseudonym, believed that Harry's wife would be a revitalizing force for the royals. I thought she was going to get in there and do great things, she says. But it didn't take long for the British press to turn on Harry's wife and Harry, viciously attacking them over Harry's wife's attempts to overhaul the old-fashioned way of doing things. Critics charged that a lot of the coverage of Harry's wife was racist. The UK press is bigoted, specifically the tabloids, Harry told Oprah Winfrey in 2021. The unrelenting press coverage led the couple to quit the royal family and move to California. Of course, as I have explained to you through the lens of narcissism, it wasn't this. It was believed to be this, but it was other factors at work linked to the need for control. Smith, too, changed her opinion of the Harry's wife and Harry. She didn't like what she was reading in the press and seeing on YouTube, where there is a broad network of anti-Harry's wife channels. The whining started, the constant, I need a break, even though they weren't working, and the constant, I don't want to live here, I want to go there, she says. The excessive amount of clothes. She thought of the old maxim that where there's smoke, there's fire. One of the YouTube channels that Smith cites is run by a British woman called Murky Meg, who currently has 85,000 subscribers. Murky Meg regularly posts videos opposed to Harry's wife and her husband, Recent videos are titled, Shockingly, Our Harry and Harry's Wife Are Trying to Silence Everyone, Harry's Cruel Snub to the Queen, and Is Harry's Wife Caught in a Web of Lies? Ultimately, Smith decided to set up her own channel, posting her first video in September 2020. Until late March 2022, Smith posted videos on YouTube discussing Harry's wife's negative impact on the royals. The three oldest videos on Smith's YouTube channel, all of which spell Harry's wife's first name wrong, are Reasons People Dislike Harry's Wife and Harry, Harry's Wife and Her Plagiarism, and Examples of Harry's Wife's Rudeness. The channel was growing exponentially, she says, and it recently exceeded 35,000 subscribers. I had a really good, faithful following. Notice that Smith started off regarding Harry's wife as a good thing, but then, having observed her behaviour, saw that she was not such a good thing and created an appropriate channel to articulate her views, her opinions, based on the evidence that she was seeing. The behaviour of Harry's wife prompted this negative reaction. The article continues. Smith was posting two videos a week discussing her opinion on the latest controversies around Harry's wife, as well as other members of the royal family, before moving to a more intensive posting schedule in the last three months or so. 
Every single day, Harry and Harry's wife put out a statement, she says. They put themselves in the news every day. It was something. Again, this demonstrates, as I have with my work, that because Harry's wife was generating so much content through the PR propaganda activity, and, of course, she's regularly commented on, there is, on a near daily basis, something that could be said about what's happening and the behaviours. For me, it's done through the lens of narcissism. For others, it might be criticism of the way that she conducts herself. Then, on March 22nd, Smith, the article tells us, tried to log into YouTube and found she could not. She began receiving messages from her fans, saying that her channel had been permanently suspended. She discovered it was for multiple or severe violation of YouTube's policy against spam, deceptive practices and misleading content or other terms of service violations. Smith states, Getting banned made me so ill. I started getting pains in my chest and I couldn't breathe. Smith claims she never received a strike against her channel before March 22nd. I was very politically correct, she says. I never touched politics. I never touched anything that was really controversial. I never called anybody names. I was very careful with my wording on everything. She has since set up accounts on YouTube Alternative Rumble, which is popular with the alt-right as well as G Getter. <clears throat> Those are websites that don't have cancel culture, she says. Meanwhile, Sadie Quinlan, a 65-year-old from Cardiff, Wales, who ran the Yankee Wally account, was also banned from the video sharing site on March 19th. One of her videos was titled... Harry's wife is uncultured, uncivil, spoilt and rude, but she can see 500 yards with her rat eyes. She was also giving advice on how to use VPNs to cloak one's identity when submitting negative comments to the site for Harry's wife and Harry's Archwell organisation. Quinlan tells Input she started her YouTube channel around four years ago. My mother died in January 2018, she said. I was just looking for something, anything to take my mind off it. Quinlan grows upset when she explains how she found out she was banned from YouTube. It made me so ill, she says. I started getting pains in my chest and couldn't breathe. She claims she was admitted to the hospital and kept overnight on a heart monitor. The shock, she says. It was the shock. Both Smith and Quinlan are unsure exactly why they were banned. I had no idea I'd repeatedly done anything, says Quinlan. If you repeatedly make a mistake in a job, doesn't somebody put you right? She has a fair observation. One would also thought that a principle of natural justice is that the allegation is put to you and you're given a chance to respond rather than being subjected to an arbitrary and shrouded system. But more certain, but they're more certain on who's behind the bands. I think it has something to do with Christopher Boozy, says Smith. I'm sure you must know who that is. Boozy, 46, is the New York-based founder of Bot Sentinel, a site that tracks social media accounts. It spread, it believes spread hate. Although, of course, as I pointed out previously, the reports it generates never actually provides a specific definition of what hate is. In January 2022, Bot Sentinel released a report estimating that the three largest anti-Harry's wife YouTube channels earn nearly half a million dollars combined from YouTube AdSense revenue, which comes from advertisements played before and during popular videos. Smith alleges Boozy has a hit list of anti-Harry's wife YouTube channels that he's campaigning to get removed from the platform. It appears that what he does is he tells these crazy Sussex squad followers to mass, camp mass complain and put up tweets explaining to them how to complain, says Smith. The Sussex squad is what opponents call pro-Harry's wife accounts due to the royal titles of Harry and Harry's wife, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. For his part... Boozy does not deny that he has a list of about two dozen YouTube accounts he believes are directing hate at Harry's wife and her husband. Combined, he tells Input, those accounts have notched up more than 500 million views. It's a serious issue because many of these channels are pushing out stuff that is not true or is defamatory, he says. They are not only putting out fake news, but are criticising her looks or the way she talks. It does fall under the YouTube policy on targeted harassment and abuse. There is then a screenshot from, twist, from Christopher Boozy's Twitter account, states two down and counting, with the account of Sue Smith and Yankee Wally highlighted in red, and a list of other accounts, which of course includes mine. Boozy was compelled to look into the anti-Harry's Wife YouTube group after being tipped off by Harry's Wife's own fans on social media. He uncovered what he believes is a sophisticated network of people profiting off Harry's Wife's popularity on YouTube while peddling hateful content. Of course, 
Boozy doesn't explain and define what hate is, and he doesn't define what he states as a sophisticated network. Indeed, when he peddled such an accusation with regard to Twitter, Twitter said that the accounts were not coordinated, were not sophisticated. The article continues. He says all the anti-Harry's wife YouTube channels he has monitored have earned up to $3.5 million in ad revenue. For the core accounts, it's clear that money is the main motivator there. But then the secondary accounts just don't like her because of race says Boozy, who is black. Of course, he doesn't explain how it is because of race. And, for instance, this account is based upon her narcissism, in the same way that where I've analysed Donald Trump, Boris Johnson, Harvey Weinstein, Oscar Pistorius, Kevin Spacey, Shane Dawson, Army Hammer, President Bolsonaro, Vladimir Putin, Brian Laundrie, Taylor Swift, and be heard. Ben Affleck, Chris Watts, Prince Andrew, Chrissy Teigen Tegan, Derek Jackson, Gwyneth Paltrow, James Corden, Ellen DeGeneres, Joe Biden, Alec Baldwin, Hillary Baldwin, and others based on narcissism. Not their gender, not their skin colour, not their race. But of course, this channel appears on a list which, as a consequence, is the implication that the account doesn't like her because of race. That's clearly false. And, of course, that is a defamatory observation in itself. The fact remains that many of the accounts are nothing to do with race. I'm not going to speak on behalf of the other accounts, but I am going to speak on behalf of this one. This is a channel about narcissism. Nothing more, nothing less. I would imagine, for instance, the body language guy. His is based upon body language. Not race, not gender, but talking about people's body language. That much is obvious from the title of the channel. As for others, they have their own bases, and it's for them to explain, not for me. But it's quite clear that these channels, which have been viewed as problematic, of course, pass critical comment upon Harry's wife most likely based upon her behaviour, because she creates this adverse response in people. Continuing to the article, Smith denies that racism comes into play. I wasn't raised to see colour, she says. I was raised to see a character. People don't dislike Harry's wife because of her colour. She suggested the situation reversed. If Harry were a woman and was taken away from her home country by a man who married her and cut her off from her family, things would be different. The world would be screaming from the rooftops. This is abuse. She has a valid point. There has been more racial division because the two of them got married than there's ever been, as far as I can tell, she continues. Smith also alleges that Boozy is attacking her right to free speech and believes Boozy is funded by the PR firm hired by Harry's wife and Harry. Uh, Sunshine Sachs. Boozy says that's not true. Boozy says he doesn't deal with YouTube directly, but believes the coverage of Bot Sentinel's research makes its way to the powers that be at the platform. He counts the suspensions of Smith and Yankee Wally as victories for Bot Sentinel. One would find that somewhat hard to believe that YouTube decides that it's going to go and read a report and then act upon it, as opposed to it being brought to their attention and undoubtedly representations being made. When contacted by Input, a YouTube spokesperson says that Yankee Wally's channel was terminated for repeated violations of our harassment policy, which prohibits content targeting individuals based on attributes such as their race or gender. Meanwhile, the ban on Smith's YouTube channel was lifted. Upon review, the flag channel was reinstated. When a mistake is brought to our attention, we review the content and take appropriate action, including restoring videos or channels that had been removed, the spokesperson says. Of course, it is interesting that YouTube has an automatic system to vet the videos where they're monetized and in some instances flags them and then undertakes a human review. Presumably, that happened repeatedly with both Yankee Wally and Smith's videos and they were allowed through. So what then caused that position to be changed? That is a question that has not yet been answered. asked, it would appear, or indeed even answered. Despite that reversal, Boozy anticipates more anti-Harry's wife accounts to get shut down. Once you suspend one account for targeted harassment or abuse or any number of things, when you point to other accounts doing the same things, now you have to take similar actions, he says, issuing his prescriptive behaviour towards YouTube. Boozy says the backlash has been severe. He has researched QAnon, 
MAGA and the Brazilian election, bot activity alongside COVID and climate change denialism. This is by far the worst in terms of personal attacks and messages. Call it character assassination. I would find it hard to believe that comment about Harry's wife in the general scheme of things is worse than the fact of climate change denial, a pandemic and political and election activity. He says it's just been wild. An article, the article continues by explaining a change.org petition calling for Twitter to ban him has nearly 2,500 signatures, while Auntie Harry's wife's Twitter accounts post, race hate, post racist hate directed at him. Of course, as always, there's no place for racist hate to be directed at anybody. Smith alleges Boozy has doxed her, her husband and her son, who has autism. I think he does that in order to intimidate you, to get you to stop talking, she says. But that doesn't work for me. I wasn't raised to be intimidated by anybody. Boozy denies the allegation. We are closely monitored by Twitter, he says. If I were doxing their users, they would suspend my account and terminate our API access. The biggest question of all is why it matters so much. I asked Boozy why he puts himself through the trolling and vitriol from the anti-Harry's wife's brigade. There's a difference between someone posting something about someone they don't like and this, he says. My team, which includes paid members and volunteers, feels like we have a duty. When we see stuff like this happening, the coordinated, targeted stuff, we have to try and stop it. Again, it's not actually explicitly explained how it's coordinated. For Smith, the answer to the same question is less clear. People get upset because they don't like being told they're a racist, just because they're white, she says. There is such a thing as reverse racism. I've never seen anybody cause so much division and strife as Harry's wife has. And that goes to the central point of these videos, of the divisive character that Harry's wife is. And people see this. Smith believes she's acting on behalf of the silent members of the royal family, Prince William, his wife Catherine and the Queen. You haven't heard one word from William about what's going on with Harry, she says, and I think it's horrible that they are complaining about family knowing they can't respond. Now that she's been unbanned, Smith is free to continue posting on YouTube, defending the honour of the royal family. Within days of being reinstated, she shared a new video. I'm back. The article highlights both interviews from both sides of the debate, individuals involved in this YouTube war as such. And it highlights, of course, the divisive nature of Harry's wife, that there are those that feel that they have to champion her cause and shut down those people who dislike her. What is interesting is that the article did not touch upon what is put forward by those ardent supporters of Harry's wife, namely the Sugars. It misses that side of it and instead focuses on the battle that has taken place between Yankee Wally, Sue Smith and Christopher Boozy the divisiveness of which is all generated from the behaviour of Harry's wife. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.